Hey guys, welcome to GameBad today, bringing you a video, and today we're going to be covering another weapon in our movie series loadout. So this one we're going to be covering Extraction, the movie Extraction with Chris Hemsworth, playing the character Tyler Rake, and we're going to be covering his Daniel Defense M4A1 that he uses in the beginning scene, as well as the final shootout or battle of the film. So this movie was released in 2020, starring Chris Hemsworth on, I believe it was on Netflix, exclusive is where it was released. So let's go ahead, we'll back out, I'll build you guys a weapon, then we'll just jump into some gameplay here so you guys can see how this thing handles in-game. So let's go ahead and back out, and we'll jump right into it. So here is the final design for the Daniel Defense M4A1 used by Tyler Rake, or Chris Hemsworth's character in the movie Extraction. So you can see very pretty build. So let's go ahead and back out here, and what we're going to want to do is I will strip this thing down to base. Now for the weapon itself, we're obviously using the base M4A1 is the weapon. However, I'm going to be using the Thunderclap blueprint, which came with the Bulk and Lightning, I believe it was. The bundle is what this came with back in Season 4. And you get an all-black version of the M4. Now, you can really use a couple different ones. You can use the Purist. Any really black uh, M4 build that looks really good. A Bandit, even though you have the Tracers. You can use a bunch of different options here. Even something like the uh, Old Faithful, Fair Brass, also looks really nice and clean too. So, we're going to be using, like I said, the Thunderclap blu blueprint here. So, what we'll do first off is to match this with what's going on in the movie. Uh, in the movie, he does have a suppressor on this weapon. So, we're going to go ahead and run the monolithic suppressor. It doesn't look to be a tactical suppressor in the movie. So, we'll run the mono suppressor. Um, very hard to get like good stills of it from the movie just because there's great shootout scenes where this is just con constant non-stop action going on so you get this thing always really kind of in action so it's hard to get good freeze frames of it but we have the monolithic suppressor sound suppression damage at range the cons are the ads speed and the aim walking steadiness this will also keep you off the minimap or excuse me they'll all keep you off the minimap in warzone but you'll also get the uh the damage at range buff in warzone and stay off the minimap as well so we'll go ahead and do that for the barrel option, we're going to go ahead and replace the base barrel with the 14 and a half inch tack light. Now the pros here are going to be the aim down sight speed and the cons being the bullet velocity since it's a lighter weight uh, barrel for this weapon. However, we're going to go with the blueprint options. We're going to want the zip tie blueprint because this is kind of the closest we can get to a Daniel Defense RIS rail system here. Um, so this is going to be the closest we can get. Obviously, it's not a one for one match. This is more based on the SI or the SII SAI or SIA Gray Rifle, so Salient Arms Industries, SAI Gray Rifle, or even the LVOAC, kind of similar between those two. However, like I said, this is the closest we'll get to the Daniel Defense RIS Rail. So we'll go ahead and put the zip tie on. Now, there's a couple different options you can use. If you don't have the zip tie, you can use, there's a few different barrels that look similar. Soulful Wanderer and uh, Wages of Sin is a little bit different, but there's like, lots of different blueprints that do have this same type of barrel as the zip tie and the Sulfur Wanderer. You just might not get the clean black like you would get with the zip tie. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Next up in the film, I believe he doesn't have a, a laser on there. What he does have is a flashlight mounted on the bottom Picatinny rail or the right side Picatinny rail, but we don't have flashlight options with the Modern Warfare weapons. So we're gonna do the tack laser. This is going to assist with the ADS speed, aim is stability, and aim walking steadiness. The con is going to be the laser will be visible when we're ADSing. So for this one, I'm going to want a black uh, PEC-15 there to match the weapon. So you can go with really any of these darker ones. It's hard to see the it here because the barrel is so much longer now. But I'm going to go with the one for the Sulfur Wanderer. You can see there, if I preview this, it gives us a nice black, uh, clean looking PEC-15 there on the top. So technically, it's a, it's a laser light option there, which is really nice. Now, the optic for this weapon, he runs two different types of N4s in the movie, um, but this one for the end scene as well as the opening shootout, it does have the Leopold Hammer on here. So, Leopold Hammer gives us that 3.25 scout toggle as well as that top mounted delta point, which he uses this in the final shootout very, very effectively and efficiently. Great to see this thing in action. So, we'll go ahead. You can obviously see you have a couple different options here. Why don't we go with the, uh, the XRK M4 just because it's a nice darker variant. It'll go nice and clean with our... Thunderclap blueprint. We'll skip out on the stock because in the film it does appear that he has a uh, LMT salt mod stock, which is what we have here. We'll skip out on the perk, rear grip, and the ammunition we can leave at the base ammunition since we do have a black stenag mag there, which is nice and clean. And for the underbarrel, we'll go ahead and put on a commando foregrip there for the recoil stabilization and the aiming stability. The cons are that, that 
will get the movement speed reduction with this, which really not a big deal. You can see the different options there that I have Wages of Sin as well as the XRK is just another black variant. So we'll go ahead and select the Commando Foregrip. And here is our Daniel Defense M4A1 that Tyler Rake uses in the movie Extraction for the very beginning shootout scene as well as the last shootout scene in the movie, which essentially they're basically the same, they're the same scene. So let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at this with the uh, first off for the customization, the reticle. I'm going to go ahead and use a Chevron Tactical. And then you can see, even though we're going to run this cleanly in black, because that's how it is in the movie, you can see what that looks like on the weapon. It looks really nice with the camo as well, but we want a nice clean black finish. I think that looks the best for this. So that is our Daniel Defense M4A1. Let's go ahead now, we'll jump into the gameplay for this weapon. Again, just using this here against bots. Um, on on the typical maps that I use this um, Euphrates Bridge, just because it kind of matches the environment, actually very similar to uh, what the shootout scene is at the end. You, they end up fighting in this, uh, I won't spoil it, but they end up fighting in this small town and then actually move on to a bridge. So Euphrates Bridge is honestly actually probably the perfect map to use this weapon. It kind of matches it one for one here as well. Um, really quick, also, before we get too far into the gameplay, what I am going to be running for the operator here, let's go ahead and I will uh, select this as favorite. So the operator, we're going to be running as... We're gonna want D-Day here. I feel it's probably the best option, just because we can do our other op skin for D-Day. You can also probably get some really good looking ones, uh, maybe closer to Tyler Rake with Wyatt, but I think D-Day is probably the better option here. So you can see, not obviously a one for one match, but this is is a pretty good, pretty good uh, kind of how he would look utilizing just with a helmet here. Um, not a one for one match, but again, it looks it looks as probably as close as we can get. So that's our operator that we're going to be using for this. So go ahead now, we'll jump back into the gameplay. And again, like I said, using this on Euphrates Bridge, perfect kind of for this movie itself because that's really where the final shootout takes place on a bridge like that. So it works out perfectly. And uh, the movie itself, really, really good movie. I would highly recommend it. Like I said, it was a Netflix exclusive, I believe, that came out. Uh, at the very end of 2020, it was, it was, I believe, early December of 2020, this movie came out with Chris Hemsworth, and uh, essentially what happens here, the plot line for this, is that he has to, uh, ex he accepts a mission to go in and rescue a, a child that has been basically kidnapped or being held hostage for ransom, and he goes into, with a team, and then he basically goes in solo to, to get proof of life, and then has to extract a child and get them to safety, so... Uh, a lot of events happen during this movie. It's almost non-stop, constant action, start to finish. And the shootout scenes with Chris Hemsworth are very, very well done. In the movie, he's tacked up very, very well. He's running uh, really nice plate carriers, a lot of tactical gear. And I think just the movement and the combat scenes as well are really nice. Especially the if you're a fan of kind of filmography, um, kind of the, the one-shot action scenes that they're doing. That's kind of a thing if you look back at a lot of cinema. Some of the coolest action movies are ones where you have these shootout scenes that are all done in one one take, meaning one shot. They're not cutting and breaking. They're doing everything all at once. And you see that with a lot of movies and some some of the great ones of the 90s as well as they're doing it in this movie here. There's a lot of one shot action takes with this where they just let this one scene play all the way through. So there's a lot happening in this. And those are kind of, you can see just the camera work being done here. It's, it's really good action and really great acting by not even not just Chris Hemsworth but every even the, the stand-in people the enemy combatants everything all done to perfection for a lot of these combat scenes and again the movement the shootouts everything's very tactical everything's very very well done so let me know down below what you guys think of this have you seen the movie extraction what do you think of the movie again he ru does run two different m4s in that movie he runs the Daniel Defense m4 here that we're covering today as well as he runs a, uh, I believe it's a, a BCM CQB type M4. A little bit different than uh, the Dano Defense, obviously. But essentially, they're almost the same type of weapon. He runs that with a uh, with an EOTech and a, and a flip sight magnifier and kind of a uh, like a mag pull grip with a tack laser. So it's really, we could have made both of these. Um, that'll probably be a future video down the road. Maybe I'll do that because I think that's a, kind of a, a different enough bill to cover in its own separate video. But let me know, have you seen the movie Extraction? What do you guys think of it? There is Extraction 2, which is in progress now. I, I don't think they've started shooting yet, but they're at least in pre-production for that movie right now. 
So I'm really looking forward to that. Again, Netflix exclusive. Let me know down below what you guys think. Also, social media links are down below in the description for Twitter, Instagram, as well as Twitch. Live stream over on Twitch once in a while. My live stream schedule is a little hectic right now, so I'll be getting that kind of... As we get through the summer here, I'll be getting my live stream schedule back on track. Things are a little crazy, at least for the first half of the summer, so I won't be live streaming as much. But if you have a question you want to get hold of me, best place to do, to do so are over on Twitter, as well as Instagram. I'll answer all my messages there. We also have a link to the Discord down below in the description. So you can go ahead and check that out and join the community and talk to me over there as well. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out the smaller channels like myself grow, especially if we as we move into uh, Battlefield here, which I'm very excited for. And then we'll have Modern Warfare 2 the following year in 2022. So a lot of exciting stuff to come. Let me know down below what you guys think of the movie Extraction, what you think of this M4. I've actually used this M4 very, very effectively in Warzone in the past too. And uh, it's honestly one of the more effective weapons that I, I've used in Warzone in the past. So I think it still stacks up today. I used it a little bit recently, and it is a lot of fun to use. So let me know down below what you guys think. Until next time, this is Buffer Gaming with Tyler Rake's Daniel Defense M4A1 from the movie Extraction with Chris Hemsworth. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.